previously on The Curse. Hey Snow, we have a big news to break. Was it good or bad? Kinda in between. You know what? Just tell me. You're just making me confused. Okay. For days, we seem to just going on circles and tracking where the vessel is, nor what the vessel is. But we finally figured out why we cannot find it. It is because there was no vessel. Hold up. That was possible? As per what we have concluded, yes, it seems to be. Our mistake is for underestimating Hex. We really only thought that Hex will just literally base everything on my curse. But it seems that he was able to make and change it the way how he wanted to. Hmm. And that leads us to our bigger question. Why does the curse work like that? And how is it done? If there's no vessel, we have no way to track or at least gather enough information for our side to start with. I'm starting to think that this might just be a trap. I'm now in the final dungeon in world number 4. Soon, I'll be hitting world number 5. I cannot be blind of whatever is waiting for me there. I hope you guys would be able to give me some info. We are trying, Snow. We are trying. Snow is now in the final dungeon in World 4. Soon enough, he will enter the World 5. I am so excited. You said that the drop of blood from Ignis the Dragon can only be gotten by a demon. What if Snow won't change his class to demon? Heh, <laughs> don't worry. Everything that I put in the fake curse will lead Jit and her people on appointing Snow to do so. It feels so satisfying to play with them all just like my pawns. Commanded. This is bad for you, Snow. Our info is still not enough. I'm now going to world number 5. Sure. Here are some of the final pieces of info that we have gathered. First, you have to kill Ignis the Dragon on the tower using a demon class. We have yet to find if you need a full legendary gear or whatever other conditions it means. We need more time to decode it, but surely we will be able to soon. By the way, all other punishment will still take effect on World 5 such as you cannot get a single legendary piece otherwise, it will be gone from your bag. But what if the same piece but different level? I have no clue. But most likely, that will also be removed. Well, I guess I have no choice. Why do you still look anxious? Is there anything wrong? I'm already almost done, don't worry. It's been bothering me, not gonna lie. Snow. It seems that everything is going smooth. You are even allowed to play with other players inside the tower. Oh, really? I mean, that's how the tower was designed, isn't it? It would take a lot of effort to solo it with a big chance of failing the run each time because of the final boss. That's not surprising at all. I know, but I really have a weird feeling towards these conditions. Anyway, the rest of the info will arrive tomorrow. From then on, we will have a complete info about the Curse 2.0. Oh sure, it's not a problem. If you need some time, it's okay. I will try to get a mount first, besides, I need it on the tower anyway. I think I won't be able to grind for demon tickets in one day as well, so I think the last batch of info will arrive in time. Okay, please be careful, Snow. Just report to me first before doing any changes, especially on switching to Demon. Affirmative. We're now level 60 and I almost forgot to record. <laughs> and I'm just uh, doing my daily quest for my Demon tickets because that will give me 15 Demon tickets for free uh, upon finishing the Snow Raptor quest. And I think it's now good. There you go. Easy.
I tried to invite some other Nabitos on my Discord server, but unfortunately, I think Roblox is having a problem at the moment. Well, by the time that this thing will be uploaded, pretty sure that you guys already have experienced it. So yeah, this, that's the same thing. I think I'm, I'm actually lucky that I can even play right now. But as you guys can see, the server is pretty much dead. All right, the server is pretty much dead. Uh, there's not much player inside and of course, I, I'm not gonna put like the whole one hour and 30 minutes grind that I did for the Elite Boar Wolves because I mean, it's gonna be really boring and yeah, I mean, I was also watching Netflix and some YouTube videos while I was grinding this because it's really boring to grind this alone. Which I really understand, but yeah, I mean, Roblox is broken, so we can't do anything about it. At least uh, we can have some progress. But yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward this and uh, still have only 100, almost, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 125 Elite Boar Wolf skills, so, oh my god, this is not going fast. But yeah, I mean, I really need to have a mount on the tower anyway, so it's gonna be worth it. Finally, we can now claim our mount and this mount aka the big ugly mouse Will be able to help us on our journey in the tower. Let's go! Ah, the smell of the sakura trees Well, can you actually smell sakura trees? I've never been to Japan, but anyway guys, I'm just doing the charge boar wolf here. This is gonna be the last one and let me just claim it. There you go, five tickets. Oh, and I even leveled up. Thank you so much for the level 61 free gear. I really wanted to solo the tower guys, but the problem is it's gonna be really, 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 really boring and also slow. And I, I think it, it's, it's okay if it's really slow, but the fact that you have like a very big chance of just failing it when you solo it unless you will do glitch then yeah i think it's not going to be really an efficient way to grind it there's not much people in this run and as you guys can see i'm not sure if you can see them on the other side of the screen but there are only like five players here and i think that the reason one of the reason is also the roblox issue right now but yeah, I mean, for this very first boss, there's only one attack. Oh, there you go. Speaking of, this is the only attack that you need to watch out for the Eye of Ignis boss, aka the first the mini boss, because the burn damage or the damage over time by that attack is really a lot, especially if you were level 60 plus only, just like me right now, because, I mean, your HP will be really low. And even if you all have like resist burn perk, I mean, that would not help you unless the probably you will have maybe multiple healers or someone who is giving you a barrier. But yeah, I mean, it's just not really worth the risk. So if you have seen the floor lighting up like a color, color lava already, then might as well just run. Give me a level 62 gear, please. Where is it? Oh, no. How was your day, Shield of Ignis? We are here to kill you. And uh, for this second boss, guys, this is going to be a little bit tricky. This boss can knock you down, so you really need to watch out for that attack. And uh, also this one, this is the fatal attack of this boss. Once you have seen a lot of circles, the color white big circles on your screen, you better run away from the boss because each of those circles can damage you guys as much as 50k plus. And even if you have like maybe an armor with fortress which, which gives you more HP and also even if you have like HP up perk, I uh, think that if you will be stuck in maybe in two circles, it doesn't really matter if you are a demon because that's going to be a burst damage and uh, yeah, that would be the cause of your death. And uh, just to tell me down in the comment section below guys, which of the mini boss or which boss in particular here on the tower are you having a hard time with? But yeah, just listen carefully on those tips that I will give you and pretty sure that you guys will less likely die. Uh, well, of course, there's still a possibility that you will die, especially if you do not have any healer or maybe your pet doesn't give any heals or maybe barrier or shield. But yeah, as you guys can see, we are all running away on this kind of attack because it's a burst damage. And if it does critical damage, then your life will also be in critical and you might need the life support. <laughs> 
I mean, f- 50 crystals is, is not that much, but it's still going to be like two days of grinding for the daily quest, right? For those uh, free to play players. Level 62 item, please. Oh, no. What is a purple weapon? Third mini boss, Root of Ignis. For this boss, guys, there is also one fatal attack of this boss. Well, this boss seems to be underwhelming. I mean, uh, that's the reason why many players are dying on this boss because they're thinking that, oh man, this boss is so slow. He's not doing any damage. He's only targeting one. But there is one attack that he is doing once he hit, I think once he hit um, half HP. All right, so you really need to watch out on those l small circles uh, that, that will be color red and that will be his root attack. Those roots will have like lava around it and it can also burn you and give you some damage. This one, this one, this attack. And first of all, those roots will be burst damage and of course the lava around it will cost you burn and uh, damage inflicted over time. And that is one of the most common reason of deaths here, at least on my experience. My teammates are always dying here because they are they're usually being caught off guard. All right, because especially for those first time players here, they're just chilling, just attacking, spamming their attacks because they're really thinking that, ah, oh, this boss is so easy. It's not doing any damage at all. So yeah, you do not need to, or you shouldn't be really confident on fighting this boss. But yeah, like what I said, guys, the Q, all right, the Q on its attack is once he hit 50% of his HP, so yeah, just uh, try to check his uh, health bar on top of your screen and uh, yeah, it should be easy. Okay, come on. Give me some level 62 gear. Where is it? There you go. An armor. Oh no. Oh boy, we are now here on the fourth mini boss. This boss is... Well, believe it or not, is the easiest, guys. This boss is the easiest. However, because of how easy it is, many players are also being so confident. And by the way, there's a weird glitch on this boss wherein when he did his attack and you were on top of him, there's a big chance that you will get a very big amount of burst damage and most likely either you will be one clapped or you will be one clap away of dying. All right, so just to make sure guys that you are not jumping or you will not try to stay on top of his head and also you need to watch out of that uh, probing orb, uh, the one that you guys uh, saw on my right side. Uh, it's going to be like a fire orb just roaming around the floor and uh, yeah, the, the middle part of it really hurts so much uh, if you will be damaged by that or if you will not really take some effort and <laughs> dodge it then you will really take a lot of damage for that and also the the laser i mean it, it'll only take like one jump to uh, literally just dodge it so it should not really be that hard but yeah that roaming circle or roaming fire orb in the floor that is really deadly as well especially if you will get like 12 seconds burn if you do not have any resist burn perk oh my god that's gonna be gg for you and imagine that last mini boss and you will die. Man, that really hurts. <laughs> okay, come on. I think it's about time for us to level up at least. Let me just open the chest. Level 60. Ah, why? Are we not gonna level up? Finally, we have met Ignis, the fire dragon. By the way, guys, like what I said, do not forget to comment it down in the comment section below. What is your problem? For those who are having a problem on this map, what is your problem on this tower? All right, and keep in mind, guys, that do not really try to solo it. I mean, it is possible, like what I said, with a glitch, all right? You can solo everything with a glitch, but the problem is it's still not gonna be an efficient way to grind it because that will take so long, all right? This boss is well relatively easier compared to the mini bosses because i mean it's very obvious and its attack is really slow but the problem is guys once you have reached this uh, final boss there's one attack that will make oh there you go speaking of the devil 
this aura or shield attack or meteor attack is the only attack of the dragon that can kill you if you will not keep on moving all right so once you have seen him doing that stance with a shield around him well do not really even waste your time trying to attack him because he's just basically invulnerable you cannot damage him at all inside that uh, shield so yeah just to run away and make sure that you are running towards the direction that there's no one there because if you will run towards your teammate you might be the reason why he will get some stacks of meteors landing over him then that might be the reason why he will be dead you know i mean do not troll here guys <laughs> imagine someone spending like half an hour just to uh, reach this point and you were just uh, going to you know like troll him and try to kill him uh, that's not cool but anyway uh, we are now only two here lucky me uh, that he is level 75. What is his name again? Hu Yan. Yeah, Hu Yan 2015. Shout out to my boy. But yeah, I think that there's always a big chance that you will not even make it out here if you do not have enough DPS because of the shield. All right. I'm not sure if it was just a glitch, but I, I managed to survive one attack from like one sky landing attack without a shield, but I was already like level 75 with a level 75 armor plus 10 and with even a legendary perk as well all right so yeah that's that's the reason why uh and i'm not sure and i i do not have any <laughs> any plans on trying it and making a video out of it because i did not want to waste like 30 to 20 to 30 minutes just to to show you guys uh, a stupid glitch but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty sure that it's not the way how the game should work. But yeah, I think that we will be able to make it out here. Oh, okay. I will now take those words back. Okay, we really now need to do more DPS here. I just realized that my partner is just a paladin. Well, the DPS of a paladin is not that bad. But if he's not using his block, then he will not get a free buff out of it because i'm pretty sure guys that if you are a paladin whenever you were having a successful block you'll be given some sort of buff as well on your basic attack uh, like the color yellow or uh, just like the same way whenever you are popping your heal skill zero shields remaining guys but he's now about to die only halfway done and I, I think that this run really took ages before we can finish it. Oh no, let me get out. There you go. And please do not fly. Please do not fly. Please do not fly. Okay. Yeah, just die. Let's go. Let me just claim the color black wings. And let me get this one. There you go. Level oh wait, level 6 or 3 already? Didn't even notice that. Come on, give me maybe level 64. Oh my god, wow! We just leveled up three times. Ah, oh, okay, could have been better if it was four. We just leveled up three times in total, only for one tower run. Man. Oh boy, hey, my boy Antonio is now handsome. Keep in mind, guys, that every tower run is around 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes even 40 if, you're, <laughs> if your teammates are always looting inside. Well, I also need to loot because of the uh, demon tickets, so that's the reason why I'm just going to cut off most of the video here and just probably show you what I've, what I've gotten, like... Uh, those uh, maybe key items that I've gotten whenever I'm leveling up. But as you guys can see, I didn't really level up on this run. Still level 64. Come on. That level 65? Nope. Okay. I would rather not get a legendary because it's too early anyway. I'm only 64. I do not want to waste a very good perk legendary. Oh, are we not going to level up again? There you go, finally! Okay, alright, three levels, one level, I'll take that. Ooh, look at this perk. 
Hey, level 66. Thanks for the free level. It's so hard to find some people in the tower because of the Roblox issue right now, but... Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh no, the boss is dying. Alright. Come on, give me some free levels. Oh, there you go. Level 67. Hey, hey, hey. So far, we have leveled twice on this run. And yeah, I mean, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. First run, we leveled up the three times. Second run, we leveled up one time. This is going to be the third run. Well, we still haven't gotten any legendary yet. And it's okay. I do not really want to get a legendary as early as now. So I just wanted to level up. Oh, come on. Please level. Oh, I thought that was my character shining. Please, level 68. Nope. But it's a purple though. Come on, level 68. There you go. Hey, all right. We are on fire. Oh, oh, a legendary. Yeah, we just got a legendary armor. Oh, I knew it. Look at this awesome perk. Even plus 10. I hope that this egg would give us a dragon because that would help us a lot on DPS. Come on, be a dragon. Oh, this is sheep. Just gonna put you inside the incubator. There you go. I'm so scared to log out right now because a lot of my <laughs> snow squad in my Discord server are sending me some, well, not, not to my DMs, but they're sharing some images that they cannot connect to Roblox because of Adopt Me update. So <laughs> there's a reason why I did not really want to lag out because I, I think that I'm, I'm in the mood to grind right now, especially that we are on fire. We're already level 68, almost level 70. And I think that it'll be really good if we will be able to hit 75 as fast as we can. But yeah, we, we will still take some time here because, I mean, uh, we still need to grind the, what was it, the demon ticket. Come on, level 69. Nope. Another purple axe again. No, level 69. Come on, give me the level 69 now. Oh no, are we not going to level up for this run? There you go. Oh my god. Okay, I'll take that. The last. Last item was level 69, hey. Oh, so many AFK. That's why I hate public runs sometimes. Okay, come on, please give me some free level... The item. There you go. Oh, level 70! Hey, let's go! Oof, that guy was so lucky. Where's the item? Oh, nice, level 71. Oh, okay, twice. Two levels in one run again. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, just kill the boss. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a first time to die in a dungeon. Oh, no. Yeah. It was because of, I'm also tired of grinding. <laughs> oh, well, GG. I'm just gonna eat my lunch and continue grinding later because, you know, I feel so tired, my back hurts as well. I'm just trying to get a dragon right now because I really need the DPS. Doesn't matter if it's a purple or red. Oh, come on, why? Why does the game keep on giving me this sheep? I do not want the sheep. I don't want the sheep, why? Oh well. But yeah, I mean, at least on that run when I died, I leveled up twice even though we didn't reach... Well, it was the final mini boss. Ah, and it was even a black one, not even the white. Mmm, trash perks. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna continue grinding next time.